Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and this channel is all about remote work, location independence and helping you travel the world as much as you want, whenever you want. In today's video we are going to be talking about all things PayPal. So if you are curious about how to use PayPal either as a business owner or on a personal level, this is the video for you. So before we get into that, I just want to give you a quick rundown of what we will be discussing in today's video. So, first things off, we are going to be discussing what is the difference between a personal and a business account for PayPal. And then we are going to look into how you can use PayPal as a South African. And by that I mean how you can actually withdraw your funds from PayPal even if you do not have an FNB bank account. Then I'm also going to show you how you can quickly add a PayPal button to your website so that you can accept payments from PayPal. Then we're also going to have a quick little look inside of PayPal so that you can see how you can create invoices, accept payments, request payments and also send money to people. And then lastly we're going to discuss withdrawing from PayPal. So I'm going to show you how you can do that and also how long it takes for you to get your money and also some of the rules and regulations in South Africa when it comes to PayPal that you need to know about. Okay, so that is the agenda for this video. If you have any questions that come up during this video that I do not address, pop them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. So with that being said, guys, let's get into this video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to chat about is the difference between a personal account and a business account on PayPal. So the main overarching difference between these two different account types is your intent. It is what you plan to use PayPal for. So for example, if you are wanting to create a PayPal account because you want to buy things online, then you would choose the personal account. But if you want to use PayPal to not only buy things online, but also to sell things, then you need the business account so that you can get access to the merchant functionalities and be able to receive payments from your customers. And also just keep in mind that you can always switch. So for example, if you have a personal account, you can upgrade it to a business account. And if you have a business account, you can also downgrade that to a personal account if you want to. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can sync your South African bank accounts with FNB so that you can use PayPal. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to fnb.co.za and then you're going to click on register. From there you're going to choose register for PayPal for non-FNB customers. And then you just need to select if you are registering for yourself or for your business. For this tutorial I am just going to select for me. And then you select, I do not bank with FNB. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fill in all this information here. So it's your contact details, your physical address, uh, your tax declaration. So you need to choose if you submit your tax only locally or if you do foreign and local tax. If you do not have your SARS tax number with you, you can select, I do not have access to it right now. But I would highly recommend that you just get it before you start creating this account. So that is over and done with. Then you're going to move to section number five and you're going to click on add source of funds. So what this is, you have to select where you get your money from. So for most of us, we will only be getting our money from our salary. But if you have interest or dividends or maybe you rent a house, anything over here that you get your money from, you will just need to tick it. Okay, and then you just have to create a username and a password and then select any additional security that you'd like and then make sure that you have read the terms and conditions and select that you agree to them. And once you've done filling all this information out, all you need to do is click on the submit button and then you'll be able to link your non FNB account to your FNB PayPal account and be able to withdraw those funds straight into your bank accounts. Okay guys, so this next section is going to be all about how you can add a PayPal gateway onto your website so that you can accept payments. Now there are quite a few ways that you can do this, but I'm just going to show you the way that I do it on my website. So what you're going to need to do is download a plugin called WooCommerce for your WordPress site. And once you've installed it onto your website, click on settings and then click on payments. Then you'll see that you'll be able to turn on PayPal and this will let you collect payments directly from PayPal. So you just have to click on set up by PayPal and you'll get taken to this next page. 
And then all you need to do is enter your PayPal email address over here and you're all good to receive payments from PayPal. Okay, so if you want to send an invoice to someone, you just have to click on tools, invoicing, and then click on create invoice. And then you will be able to create an invoice. And when you're done, you can either save it as a draft or you can send it via PayPal or share the link yourself. Then if you want to request money from someone, you can click on tools, request money. Then you just need to enter their username or their email address or their mobile number and then you'll be able to click on next and then type in the amount that they owe you and then they will get a notification to pay you. And then lastly, another way for you to request payments on PayPal is to use your paypal.me link. This is just a custom link that you can create. As you can see, mine is paypal.me, Wanderlust Movement, and you can just send that to anyone that needs to pay you. And then if you need to send money to someone, you just need to click on send and enter their username, email address or mobile number and then the amount that you owe them and then PayPal will send them your money. Okay guys, so if you have successfully linked your PayPal account to your South African bank account, the next step once you've started to receive money is to get it into your bank account. So if you're not too sure how to do that, I'm going to quickly walk you through how you can withdraw money from PayPal into your South African bank account. Step number one is that you want to log into your FNB account and then you want to click on my bank accounts. Scroll all the way to the bottom until you see other and PayPal account. Select it and then once the PayPal page loads, you're going to click on the orange bar on the left side of the screen and this other menu will pop up. Then you want to select withdrawal from PayPal. So if you have money in your PayPal account, the amount that you have in your PayPal account will appear over there. So then you want to select the bank account that you want to withdraw your funds into. And then you type in the amount that you would like to withdraw from your PayPal account. And then lastly, you have to just select a reason from this list over here for the transaction. So depending what you use PayPal for, your reasons will be different. And once you've filled in those three things over here, then you can select get a quote and then FNB will show you exactly the amount that you are going to get into your bank account with the current exchange rates. Okay, so this is just a quick example of what the quote page will look like once you have submitted your quote to FNB. As you can see in this example, I said I wanted to withdraw $10 and at that current exchange, that means I would have 167 Rand and 13 cents. Then FNB is going to take off their commission of 2 Rand and 53 cents, which means the total amount that will be in my South African bank account is 164 Rand and 60 cents. So if you are happy with that quote, you just need to click on continue. A new page will load and you'll need to go all the way down to the bottom and make sure that you tick these three terms and condition boxes. And when you're happy with that, click on confirm. Then a new page will load for PayPal and you'll have to sign into your PayPal account and you'll be taken to the PayPal checkout page. Hi, this is Editing Lauren. The sound didn't record for the last part there by mistake. So essentially, once you have authorized that transaction with PayPal to deposit the funds into your FNB account, then you'll be redirected back to FNB Online Banking, where you'll be able to see that there is a pending amount that is going to come into your FNB bank account, and that should take about three to five days to reflect into your account. Okay, so now we're just going to get into some of the rules and regulations that you need to know about when using PayPal as a South African. So the first thing that you need to be aware of is that you have to withdraw all your funds into your bank accounts. You are not allowed to hoard your money in PayPal. If you read through FNB's uh, T's and C's for PayPal, they even state that very clearly that you can get into trouble. So you have to make sure that you are withdrawing all your PayPal funds within 30 days of receiving them. And this is because SARS can see how much is in your PayPal account because it is connected to your South African bank account. So if you get audited during tax season and they see that you are hoarding money and that you haven't declared that money, you're probably going to be in some shit with SARS and that's probably not going to be fun. So don't hoard your money in PayPal people, just deposit it into your South African bank accounts and do your taxes. <laughs> Is what I'm saying here. Don't try to fuck over SARS. They will find you. It's like that Liam ne Neeson movie. What is, I don't know who you are, 
or where you are, but I will find you. That is SARS. Okay, so one of the top questions that I see asked about PayPal a lot is how long does it take to actually get into your South African bank account? So once you've requested those funds, it should take about three to five working days. Um, I can say from my experience, it does take three days. I usually request my PayPal money on a Wednesday and it will be in my South African bank account on a Friday. So when you are withdrawing your money, just keep that time delay in mind. Oh, and one thing that you definitely do want to keep in mind is that FNB and PayPal both take a cut from the amount that you are withdrawing. So this is just something to keep in mind so that you are not like shocked or scared when you see there is less money in your bank accounts. But one way that you can mitigate this to make sure that you are getting the right amount of money into your South African bank account is to make sure that you add a little increase on top of your usual fees to cover all these cuts that these two platforms are going to take. And if you want to know exactly how to start a freelancing business, make sure that you turn on those bell notifications and subscribe because that is exactly what we are going to be talking about in next week's video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, thoughts, concerns about remote work or PayPal, make sure that you comment below and I will do my best to answer them. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about pitching or where to find work online, make sure that you watch these two videos right over here. Thank you so much for watching and I will check you in the next one. Cheers.